Hello everybody and welcome to this Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we are going to be talking about infinite versus finite work centers. So out of the box, Job Boss is a infinite scheduling tool. When I go to a work center, for example, and let's just look for the work center lathe, I need to go to the capacity scheduling tab. And on the capacity scheduling tab, you can see here that we have this finite schedule box which is only available if you have the shop boss option. So out of the box job boss, all your work centers are infinitely scheduled uh, tools. Um, infinite schedule means that your jobs will be scheduled to the target ship date without regard to load and capacity of the work center that's being scheduled. So I'm just showing you a slide from my PowerPoint presentation. As you can see here, um, infinite work centers uh, will allow your load to exceed 100% capacity in the CNC lathe in this example. And for the, this week that I'm representing here, the red line represents 100% capacity. The blue lines represent my load. On Monday and on, and on Thursday, I am over capacity. And on Wednesday and on, and on Friday, I do have some capacity. So I can see a true picture of what's actually happening here with um, my work center if I have my work center set to finite. Um, when you do have infinite work centers, this often results in overloaded work centers. However, this option does not answer the question, or I'm sorry, it does answer the question, what is my true shop load? Scheduling using infinite often requires that the scheduler manipulates or moves the job operations to spread the load of the work center over multiple days or weeks. In that case, I can see here that I'm over capacity and I would have to make a choice as to maybe I need to move one of these jobs to a day where I have capacity Maybe I have to change a promise date uh, on one of these jobs and talk to my customer and tell them I'm not going to get it to you on time. Or I can add some capacity to this work center by adding a shift or working overtime, perhaps. To summarize, infinite scheduling shows your true shop load and potentially answers the question of how many hours of overtime do we need this week or this month to get orders done on time. Although Job Boss is an infinite scheduling system by default. There is another choice, finite scheduling, that will be an option if Shop Boss is installed. So here's an example of that same CNC lathe if I had set the uh, work center on the capacity scheduling tab to be finite. As you can see here, once again, the red line represents 100% capacity. And with the finite setting set in the capacity scheduling tab of the work center itself, that work center will never exceed 100% of capacity. What happens is the extra load that we saw on Monday in infinite uh, work centers, job boss will actually move that job down to the next available slot uh, in time, whether it's later on in the week or next week or whatever. So you don't necessarily have a true picture of what you can see here with your schedule because job boss actually moves it for you uh, to never exceed that 100% load in a finite work center. So back here in the lathe work center in the capacity scheduling tab, finite scheduling is an option with shop boss. Remember you have to have that shop boss module and finite scheduling means that your jobs will be scheduled based on the capacity of the work center. And as you can see here, I have a weekly capacity of 37.5 hours in the lathe work center in this case. Um, when using finite scheduling, job boss will still use the target ship date to schedule the job. The biggest difference is that instead of seeing overloaded work centers, job boss will only schedule the jobs to meet the hours per day, week, or month. It will not overload a work center with the finite method. It's typical to see late jobs or jobs running past their target ship date if you do use this finite scheduling option. Let me reiterate this point. Job operations are scheduled infinitely if you do not have shop boss. Um, if you own Shop Boss, then you can use this finite schedule checkbox here. Uh, but if, if it's not selected and you own Shop Boss, Job Boss does still schedule this work center to be um, an infinitely scheduled work center. So just because you have Shop Boss doesn't mean it's going to, your work centers are finite. You have to check this box on the capacity scheduling tab here to ensure that that work center is a finite work center. We do talk about this extensively in the Job Boss Track 3 scheduling class, which is held monthly in a virtual environment with a live instructor. 
We also hold a monthly virtual class for Job Boss Shop Boss Essentials. So if you do own the Shop Boss module, it's suggested that you take the Track 3 class as a prerequisite to learn the basics of scheduling, and then also uh, take the Shop Boss Essentials class, which is held virtually once per month, once again with a live instructor. That will conclude this tech tip video for infinite versus finite work centers. Once again, if you want to learn more about the difference between the two, attend our monthly virtual classes for both Track 3 and Shop Boss. Thank you and have a great day.